Cool. Hello and welcome to tonight's Monday meditation. Tonight's meditation, I will introduce myself just because this is a recording too, is um, my name is Gina. I am the MFS community service provider in Tinker. And um, in my previous life, I did Reiki and energy healing and meditations and all of that. So, and I do that as much as I can now too. But um, so I'm offering these meditations on Mondays for Mental Health Awareness Month. And uh, tonight's meditation is one of my favorites. It's the Meet Your Animal Guide meditation. And this meditation is going to be, it's a very short guided meditation that will lead you to meeting your animal guide. And um, I do want to acknowledge that the origin of animal guides or spirit animals is uh, rooted in Native American history and cultural beliefs that these animals come to us and to give messages and assist in navigating your life, really. So um, it's important that we acknowledge that. And uh, in fact, this meditation was given to me the first time by my Reiki master, who was also Native American. And so um, yeah, so it's just a really great meditation. And I, in energy healing and all of that, we take lots of different cultures and their beliefs and bring them into those spiritual beliefs that we own, that we all have. So, yes. So we will get started. And then at the end, especially because there's only two of you, I'll stop the recording after and then if you are comfortable with it, tell me what your guide, it, what guide came to you. And then um, I've got books and cards and all sorts of things that we can look it up and see what it means. Um, Cause I love this stuff and yeah, this is my favorite. So um, if there are no questions, we will get started. <sighs> so let's take a nice deep breath. And I would like to start this meditation with my favorite, where is it, cleansing prayer that I like to start most of my meditations with. So let's take a nice deep breath, inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. <sighs> really dropping into your body and arriving here in this space, ready to receive. Taking another nice deep cleansing breath, really filling your belly with air and then exhaling all that air out. I am now choosing to cleanse myself and release any and all thought forms, beings, situations, and energies that are no longer of service. To my highest and greatest good, across all planes of my existence, across all universes, and across all lifetimes, I ask that all energies that are less than love be transmuted for the highest good of all. And so it is. Animal guides come to us as teachers or spiritual guides that are with us either throughout our lifetime or perhaps throughout a, a reason uh, that something's come up in your life. They offer us insight and direction, similar to what your other guides that are with you provide as well. I believe that there's a whole team of guides behind us that are helping to support us. They bring with their power and properties as we need them for healing lessons and protection. 
it's often nice to pick your own guide, but it doesn't work like that. So you may see more than one. And you may get have other guides that come to you throughout throughout your lifetime. They come in and out of our life and offer us teachings about ourselves and with their healing medicines. So getting nice and comfortable, if you haven't already. Begin to relax from your crown all the way to your feet. Releasing any stress or negative energy, feeling that just go right down into the earth. And we're gonna call in protection from all four elements. Wind, fire, water, earth, east, south, west, and north. I turn to the east, the direction of new beginnings and a home of the winds. I bless you and ask for your wisdom and blessings here today. I turn to the south and ask the home of fire for direction, passion, and inspiration with these blessings today. I turn to the West and ask the home of water for creative and caring wisdom and blessings today. I turn to the direction of North and ask for deep earth wisdom and blessings of stillness and introspection. Allow your feet to be drawn down to the ground. Feel yourself walking through a forest, a field, an open space. Really visualizing that space. Perhaps there's water there. You can hear the wind blowing. You can feel it rubbing against your skin. If you breathe deeply, you can smell the sounds in the forest. Continue walking. With each step, feel the energies of the earth flowing up through the bottoms of your feet. When you found somewhere that you're comfortable and that you feel at home, perhaps it's in the forest still, maybe you found a clearing, you're sitting by the river. Gently ask for your animal guide to come forward. Don't worry if one doesn't appear right away. Breathe into yourself and trust that you are worthy of a beautiful animal to show itself to you.
It may be close to the ground or flying above. Maybe it's swimming. Or it may slowly make its way towards you. Trusting that an animal will come and that you are worthy. When an animal appears for you, welcome the animal and thank it for coming. And take this time to ask the animal guide if it has a message for you. Tell them that you want an honest message. And once you hear the message, ask the animal if there is anything that you can do for them. Once you've finished with your guide, thank them for showing themselves to you. Tell them how you will integrate their messages. And then you can leave your guide. And continuing your experience for as long as you feel guided to do so. And when you're ready, taking a few deep breaths, bringing your awareness back to your body, wiggling your fingers and toes, and then finally bringing your awareness back to your eyes and letting them flutter open. <laughs>